Welcome to the Symmetron webinar. My name is Rich and I work in technical support. Today we'll be covering how to use the automatic spark gap setting in Symmetron. We'll first look at a few slides showing some setup settings which will help make more sense when we're actually going through the process. The automatic overburn setting is used when machining electrodes. This only works when using spark gap and will not work if using the offset field. If you are an offset user, it is still possible to use the automatic overburn setting and we will show that at the end of the video. But the values must be entered into the spark gap area in the EDM setup. There is a process to follow when exporting to NC. And a couple of things to remember with this, the electrode must be activated and you must be using the from active component setting. Once the electrode is on the NC side, the electrode burning stage can be activated in two different areas. Either the NC setup if using one or in the tool path if an NC setup is not being used. One thing to keep in mind, any setting used in the NC setup always takes precedence. Some of the benefits of using automatic overburn setting are fewer templates, you're able to change the overburn for the entire electrode from let's say 20 to 5 or vice versa if you're adding an electrode with just a few clicks and zero mistakes. Okay, so let's get started. I have a couple of electrodes pulled here, and before sending these to NC, the spark gap must be set first in the EDM setup. So this may look familiar to some, but if this is the first time seeing this, this is the EDM setup. Right now, let's just leave this on the standard inch profile. and we'll select electrode number one. When you double click on electrode number one, it'll bring up the burning stage area. This is where the spark gap value will be applied. For electrode one, we'll use a finish spark gap value of five. And these numbers are always positive. So if you are an offset user, that's one thing to get used to. For electrode two, we'll use a rougher and a finish. The rough will be set at 20 and the finish will be set at five. You don't need to close out of the polish or the semi-finish if you don't want to. It's just personal preference as they'll show up in NC. So if you don't want to see them, just close those out. Now that everything's set, you can exit the EDM setup by using the green check, which will save everything. And now the electrodes are ready to export to NC. First, activate an electrode file export to NC. If this is the first electrode that you're exporting to NC, you will want to make sure to change this setting from entire assembly and change it from active component and then green check. And that looks good. From here there's a couple ways to go. Either program from scratch or use a template. For this demonstration we'll be using a template. If we look at one of the finishing procedures, the spark gap is set to zero. And you'll find the spark gap under the electrode machining parameter. 
it's set to zero because the electrode machining has not been turned on yet. You can turn it on in one of two ways, either in the toolpath itself, under the electrode stage, you switch this to either the rough or the finish, whatever you would want. Right now we'll change it to finish. And if we edit this procedure, you can see that the spark gap is now set at 5,000 overburn. If you were using an NC setup, you would adjust it here, just turn on electrode burning stage, and then again pick either the rough or the finish. This time we'll switch it to finish, or sorry, we'll switch it to rough. And you can see that the N the NC setup will override the toolpath. So because we set that in the NC setup, it now switched the electrode burning stage in the toolpath to rough, and it's not changeable. And taking a look at the finished procedure here, you can see that the overburn now is set to 20 thou. If you were happy with the results of how this turned out, it's very easy to copy and make a finish procedure. Just select everything here because we use the NC setup, copy and paste it. And now you can change this NC setup to finish. And you can see it, it names it rough and finish so you can tell the difference right away and just check this again and now it's set back to the finish overburn of 5,000. Now we'll load in the other electrode and show one more scenario. So you'll want to make sure that electrode number one is activated. File export to NC. And because from active component was already set from the first time we exported that uh, uh, electrode 2. This should always be set from active component unless it's changed. And again, we'll just use that same template. In here you'll see now that the only burn stage that is available is finished because that was all that was set in the EDM setup. If there ever comes a scenario where you need to add a rougher electrode, if you're already in the file, you can just jump back to the assembly file. But if it's saved and closed, go ahead and just open up the assembly file go into the NC, the EDM setup, select the trode, and this is already selected because it was active, and then just add a burn stage, choose the one that you want, and add the spark gap that you need to use. Save the file and jump back over to NC or open up the NC file. This will need to be updated. And now you'll have the option to choose the rough or the finish, whatever is needed. The final thing to cover is how to use the setting with offset and also how to use it with the roughing procedures. Let's take a look again at the finish procedure. And with offset, we're going to need to use a formula. The formula will be the short name of the spark gap which is SP gap. And we're going to multiply that by negative one. And because these two settings can be used simultaneously, we're going to need to turn off the electrode machining. Set that to no and then it will only use the part surface offset. 
And if we look at the roughing procedure, we're not going to use a formula for the part surface offset. This can be just set as a just a number. So let's say let's leave this at 10 thou because these two can work simultaneously. This is a positive 10 and this is a negative 5. So the overburn that is left on this electrode is going to be plus 5 thou. Thank you for attending today's webinar. Our new website is Symmetron.com. And if you have any questions for us at support, the best way to reach us is through email, support-us at Symmetron.com, or you can reach us by phone.